Bible together His word that will last forever We grow together as a family Worship the God of eternity One of the most prominent men in the Bible. We all knew him from our previous stories. He was saved as a baby by floating on the Nile River, how he saved the Israelites from Egypt, or how he split the Red Sea into two so his people could cross on dry land. However, no matter how amazing the life and story of Moses, there will always be problems. And this includes the people he was leading to the promised land, the Israelites. This is the story of how a snake on a pole saves a nation. On a bright and scorching day, God's people, the Israelites, traversed in the wilderness in search of the promised land. However, as the number of days increasing, the patience of the Israelites was constantly dwindling and it already reached its limit. It's getting hot and hotter in here in the wilderness, and there is still no sign of the promised land Moses was talking about. I was thinking the same thing. Is Moses tricking us? Did he bring us out of the wilderness to die from the heat and hunger? There is no bread! There is no water! But... We were given manna, you know. Yes, it was delicious at first, but I got fed up with it. Now, it just tastes miserable. I hate it. The Lord heard the complaints of His people and was greatly displeased with it. The Lord then sent venomous snakes to bite the people so they might suffer and die. The Israelites realized their mistakes, begged Moses and God for forgiveness and to stop the snakes from decreasing their numbers. Moses, we have sinned! We spoke against the Lord and against you! Please, Moses, we are begging you to pray to the Lord to take away the snakes from us! Moses! Moses heard the cries of his people. He went to God to speak to him of what he must do. God, being full in mercy, said to Moses, Moses, you must make a snake 
and put it up on a pole. When the Israelites that have been beaten look at the pole, they shall live. So, Moses followed God's command, made a snake out of bronze, and put it up on a pole. Then when any Israelite who was bitten looked at the bronze snake, the venom immediately disappeared from their bodies and lived. All right, that was another fantastic story, right kids? We have witnessed how God disciplines His people in many ways when they stray away from Him. This time, God sent venomous snakes to correct their actions. Because God loves His children, He disciplines them. Well, what can we get from this story, kids? It's simple. This story foretells how Jesus will take away sin from anyone who looks and believes in Him. Like in Genesis, Satan was the venomous snake, the Israelites are us, and the bronze serpent is Jesus Christ. Because we disobeyed God, we are poisoned by sin. Sin is poisonous and will kill you. But just like in the story, because of God's never-ending mercy and love for us, He sent us His Son, Jesus Christ to bear our poisonous sins and to die in the cross. And that's why when the Israelites saw the bronze serpent, the poison from their bodies were swept away without a trace. How amazing is the love of Christ! How about you kids? Do you still have the poison of sin? Have you already looked and believe in God? If not, then now is the time to do it. Believe that you are a sinner that has been poisoned by sin and that if you looked and believe in Him, you will be set free from its bondages and you will live life happily and poison-free. <laughs>